Hey everyone, using reverbs. I love reverbs. Here in Studio One, it's never been easier to use one. I'll show you how. The process of reverb has been around for a long, long time. Originally, you'd have to create a physical environment that would reverberate the sound you're putting in there and re-record it. But today in our digital age, we've got it pretty easy. We can simulate and uh, with a lot of really amazing results, uh, some truly amazing sounding reverbs. Now, I'm going to show you two ways to utilize reverbs. One is to insert it directly onto your track. Another one is to bus and send it, as I showed you in a previous video. And I'll show you how easy it is to do that in a moment. Let's take a listen to our dry signal first. Here's a mono acoustic guitar. Now, the first thing you wanna ask yourself is why do I wanna use a reverb? Well, it's a mono guitar, it's right in front of you, it's beautifully recorded, but let's say we wanted to add some space in the stereo field, we wanna widen the sound. Well, the way we wanna begin doing that here is I'm gonna right click and choose add a bus for this channel. And here a bus is created and it's also so soloed it for us too. Uh, I definitely recommend labeling that bus. Let's call it Acoust Bus, so now we know. The acoustic guitar here is the signals being split, not only coming out the master fader, but some of it is now being bussed, rooted right here to the acoustic bus. And the reason why I want to do that is, let's open up some of our reverbs. I can select one and drag it here under inserts. Now, when we play this back, it's gonna take this mono guitar signal and play it through a stereo bus for us. Take a listen. Let's add a preset here. Let's go to large hall. And now we can check it out. Of course, I'm exaggerating the effect, but you can hear it. It is not mono anymore. Here's without the effect. And here it is in a stereo reverb environment now. However exaggerated. Okay, so that's one method. But let's try this now. Let me deactivate those inserts and... Um, Let's, what if you inserted it directly onto the track now here in the processing field? Well, what's going to happen now is because you have a mono signal here, it's gonna process it in a mono reverb. It's not gonna sound as wide. It will have reverb, but it won't be in the stereo field in this case. Here, take a listen. Let me go to uh, a really quick, let's go to concert hall and press play. So by inserting it here in a mono track in this example, not a stereo, but a mono track, you're gonna have a mono reverb. But by bussing it to a stereo effects bus, you can now have a stereo reverb. You can widen the stereo effect. Now let's open up a reverb, reverb and briefly talk about some of these features here that we're looking at. A lot of times you're going to have not only some presets here, as I pointed out before, but an on-off switch. You can have the size of the room you can have a small, tight sounding room or an enormous room. And you can control the parameters of that room, like how wide or narrow you want it to sound and how tall you want that room to sound. And all of this is going to contour and color the sound that you're looking for. And you can get really carried away. Here's the pre-delay. This is how the sounds that arrive to your ear soonest and the length of them. And basically what it's simulating here is a real world environment. It's taking this amazing amount of mathematics and putting it in the palm of your hand so you can create the right room that you're looking for. And then you have a mix. Basically you can mix in the amount of reverb here and down below you can choose between more of the wet signal or some more of the original dry signal. So reverbs have a powerful place in audio production. They're all going to be uniquely a little bit different. But of course, the best way to find out is to experiment and have some fun. And I remember, a little bit does go a long way. But again, in this world, you can have as much fun experimenting as you want. So get started, stay creative, and thanks for watching. Hey everyone and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. 
Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.